Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jedi Charles YouTube channel. Uh, I'm your host D House here uh, with a commentary over a game I played recently. Uh, I sat down with CX3 for a live stream, so some of you may have already seen this, uh, but if not, I'm glad you're tuning in. Um, but we kind of did a little challenge with three different types of themes, and this particular theme uh, was the Jedi vs. Sith very thematic, uh, specifically using Built to Last, um, the card that costs four. It's a plot where all of your unique upgrades, when you play a unique upgrade, you can exhaust the plot to get a resource back, and then all of your unique upgrades have redeploy as well. And so I'm playing Kanan Ayla. Uh, Chris is playing Anakin Kylo. And uh, so we're going to watch this again. I've already played this game, so I'm just doing commentary over top of it. And um, hopefully we can, we can have... A good time here we go all right so uh so yeah so rolling out uh to start i'm running com tower uh battlefield and he's running rebel war room because he's got some pay sides um and so i've kind of gone back and forth when i've played this deck in real life uh between com tower and obi-wan's hut uh, but ultimately just decided on com tower um, so let's see. I think he won the roll off. I got five, he got six, and so he gets to choose. He could also get value from Com Tower. Um, but I think his comments to me were he's got a lot of pay side, so um, uh, so we'll see what he does. All right, he goes with Rebel War Room. Um, so we'll start with two shields, which is great. Um, this deck, Kanan's got 10 health. Ayla's got 10 health, so 20 health is not a lot to start the game. He starts with a binds all things, which I wish I would have had. Um, would have been great. Um, because it really gets that ramp going. That's that's the thing about this deck is it can ramp super hard. I played Stairs, uh, Ray Ayla at Worlds, and kind of has a similar effect, um, but can ramp even better with those unique upgrades. I'm one, running basically one of every blue unique upgrade, not like Journals of Kenobi or that crap. <laughs> but um, I am running uh, two copies of Luke's Lightning Rod because it's just that good. And it's great for like cards like Guard and Force Misdirection, stuff like that. So got to run two of those. But everything else is... One of, and I've got lightsaber pull to help with that. But um, you know, it built to last is an interesting card of like how it changes how you build decks. There's a the mall saber, um, which is just yeah, really pretty fantastic uh, start for him. Um, but it is interesting that the villains don't seem to have as many unique upgrades in the blue world as uh, as heroes do. But um, you could theoretically go with a non-blue it doesn't have to be a blue weapon upgrade it can be anything but um so yeah so i've rolled out ayla um i try to get ayla out as soon as possible because she's got the special that sort of soft mitigation and then um uh, and then obviously with guard in my hand it just seemed great again luke's lightning rod so good for guard i uh, end up just hitting motive motive ing because mall saber has so many melee sides and of course he hits the resource instead <laughs> Um, but that's fine. I've really, I've enjoyed, enjoyed playing this deck a lot in real life. Um, and if the Afra insanity hadn't, uh, become such a big thing recently, um, I would totally run this competitively, but 20 health against indirect just sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Uh, getting the Ezra saber down a really great start first turn for sure. Um, but yeah, indirect hurts. I mean, I, I played one game where I against DJ where I had uh, honed skills. I had like five upgrades left on Kanan. I had everything was great, but I knew um, as soon as I rolled, I, all you had to do was remove a die and I lose. <laughs> oh, and he was running Frozen Waste, so it's kind of like, okay, um, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, so indirect isn't fun. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Aquata, I've thought about running the Aquata Breather, the zero-cost blue upgrade that lets you exhaust um, to block an indirect. But I just haven't done that yet. Um, Kanan's an interesting card from Empire at War that hasn't seen a ton of play. Uh, but there I use... You, Kanan's abilities, you can resolve one of his die before taking an action. So it's a little bit of action cheating. So I resolve his range damage and then did my melee damage to ultimately do six to Anakin. 
Um, I do think Anakin's the bigger threat here. He pretty much has three two sides, uh, whereas Kylo, I'm not too worried about his special and um, it. And again, all the unique upgrades have redeploy in his deck, so there's no point in me going after the Maul Saber. Uh, if anything, there's a point. There's a reason not to do it, so he doesn't get double value out of it in a turn. Just roll out, try to get some value from Ezra Saber. Get a shield. That's fine. I know at this point I need to dig for more upgrades. Uh, I probably could have held on to the Ezra Saber to get um, better value out of it for next turn. Because now it's like I don't have another two-cost blue weapon. I do have a race staff, but it's gray. So I can't really do anything with, about that. So then he gets the Kylo Saber. So <laughs> he's got two three-cost upgrades. I've got two two-cost upgrades. And uh, he's doing okay. So again, getting Ayla out there, trying to get that uh, mitigation online for guard. And look, the Luke's lightning rod ro rolls uh, to melee again. Takes it out with fill your anger. It always feels nice when the blue villains have to play fill your anger and they only get one dice out of it. Usually they get at least two. So <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about him having to blow that on uh, on the two melee. Uh, the focus side on Kanan is so great because it gives you so many options to do whatever you need to do. Because, again, you can resolve that before you do an action. So you can resolve to a melee side for guard. Or if they're running a bunch of range damage, you can focus to his range side and then force misdirect and remove a ton of damage. You can even focus to a blank for force misdirection. It's just, again, a lot of great options. I think here I'm debating whether to take that resource and then lightsaber full pull to get a uh, an upgrade that I can, you know, start abusing built to last. Again, I need to ramp really hard with such low health. I just have to basically, basically beat them to the kill. Um, but man, blue hero they do have a lot of uh, another hidden motive on the mall saber, trying to get rid of that thing. And the plus four, it's gone. Man, but between like stuff like caution and guard and force misdirect and force illusion, I mean, it's hard not to run blue if I'm if I'm thinking competitively. Otherwise, I don't care. But it just has such great options. Yeah. So here we go. So getting that resource again, thinking, hey, I need to I need to get built to last working and. If I can play a three cost upgrade, I still get a dollar back for four solution if I need it. But you can kind of see some of the deck here. I'm thinking possibly Ray Saber. There's Luke Saber. I don't love Luke Saber though. It's just kind of in for the built to last. Obi Saber is fine, but uh, Dagger is just a clear, a clear take here. Um, there you see that Master of Council in there. I love playing Master of the Council in this deck. Um, towards the end game, like you end up with a lot of extra resources because just the way you ramp, and so that special is easy, easy to pay for. But also that plus three and that plus four are great for melee or for guards or whatever. Um, so you rolled the specials. The Kylo Saber special um, is not good because he can remove one of my blanks and then re-roll that die into something else. Um, so I don't want him to be able to do that. I honestly haven't seen Kylo Saber in forever. But I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to guard and get rid of it. I don't like to guard for just one die. I usually want to do two. But I didn't feel like focusing to the two melee and using two dice to get rid of two. I mean, the, the Kylo Saber was dangerous, but <laughs> Kylo's actual ability isn't that great. So he's playing Frightened, getting rid of my shields, and then doing the Kylo special. I do have the dagger in there. He knows I have the dagger in there. So it came down to, uh, and he got the one. At least he didn't get to zero. <laughs> a lot of Awakening Kylo decks would pull zeros, and it made a lot of people sad. So again, I just I love I love these new plots we're getting that um, that expand deck building, right? Like I would never run 
Kane and Ayla together if it weren't for this plot. But because they made the plot, it's like, oh, what else can I do for 26 points to, uh, there's a caution, to, uh, <laughs> you know, get some value out of this, get this ramp. Um, like, that's what I loved. Again, I loved Ray Ayla at Worlds. Um, being able to play with profitable connections, start with three resources. You, know, you can just do a lot of great things and get so many upgrades out. Um, and then hone skills, uh, new zero cost support. Um, really, really just trying to clear out my hand here playing that force illusion, but um, hone skills. Uh, if you have that out, your character can have one more upgrade. And so with two hone skills in the deck, there uh, I played a couple games with this where my last character has five upgrades on it. So when you roll it in, you're rolling seven dice all at once, which is really hard to mitigate outside of like a defensive position or force misdirect or something like that. Um, e even easy pickings, it's like you're going to remove two of my seven dice. Um, so again, rolling out Ayla because a lot of blue mitigation is situational and her special needs to be out there. But I've got that force misdirect in hand, so I know there's a, there's a big opportunity here um, for removal. Now he's playing Ancient Saber. I actually don't have Ancient Lightsaber in this deck. I probably should. And look at all those melee sides, Chris. Pay one, remove four. <laughs> oh, that's that moment feels so good. I don't care what you're playing. That just it just feels good. Uh, like that, like a removal like that can just straight up win the game for you. So he's rolling an Anakin. And he gets some good damage out of him. All right, so we're rolling out Kanan. One thing I haven't tried is a built to last deck that isn't just blue. Like, I haven't done, like, a blue-red or anything like that, um, or a blue-yellow, or uh, I just haven't been excited about any pairings there, but I'm sure I'm sure it exists. We'll see with the new set. There's some new spoilers that have been dropping for Across the Galaxy, so we'll see what comes, but we know um, there's more plots coming, too, and I just I can't wait to see what the plots, uh, the plots do. Um, so at this point, I'm doing pretty good. That Kylo is pretty scary, but I don't know if he runs home skills. So I don't know if it can get worse than that. Um, and I've only taken two damage, and I've got three shields on Ayla and a Force Illusion. I feel pretty okay. All right, so he's playing the Force Illusion on Anakin, uh, which is fine. So I've got the Kanan focus to get things moving. So here, the dagger, before you resolve this die, showing melee damage, you may move one shield from a blue character to a attached character. Because I cautioned on Ayla, I have three shields, and I realize I cannot get value out of the dagger uh, as much as I want to. So we're going to focus uh, to the two, I believe, instead of the plus three, because I don't want to give him more value on that force illusion. So... Um, so we're just going to hit him for three melee, I believe. Yeah, so at this point, I think we're just talking about if I can get rid of his shield or not. Um, which I believe he did take the shield away, and I think we misplayed that. I don't think you can take the shield there if I can't put it on mine. All right. Um, so Alos 2 indirect isn't great here. I think there's some, some more value between her special and her melee sides, but two damage is still two damage. And I don't really want to get rid of anything in my hand. Although, uh, we'll see. So he, he does do two, or he 
starts going to Ayla, and then says, "No, I'm I'm switching to Kanan." I think he saw the Force illusion and the. So another plot uh, that I've loved playing is uh, Calling in Favors. It's another r high cost one of four. Yeah, so so I rerolled into four melee there, uh, which is a a dead Anakin. Um, so getting rid of Anakin there, and then two to Kylo. Uh, but yeah, planning to only do twenty six points for your characters is uh, is pretty gross. Yeah, so there he was just trying to get the, the die for Ancient because he accidentally deleted it. All right, so finishing this round, uh, I've got some good options. The Binds is a little late. It's hard to play Binds All Things this late in the game when... Uh, we we really just need to keep pushing forward, get dice in the pool, spend a lot on removal, keeping guys alive. Because um, usually by this time, I have no problem having like five upgrades out. All right, so getting Ayla's dice out in the pool. I've got that Beguile in my hand. Beguile is such great mitigation. Because with Beguile, you can uh, re-roll a die, you can change a die to any side, and then remove a die. Uh, so I'm kind of just waiting for him to, to re-roll into something much better than that and, uh, and see what happens. So he hits the plus two and the plus two or something. I think he's doing five damage there. Something I can drop the force illusion. I could beguile. So I'm just debating what to do. I also have the Ayla special. I've got a lot of options. That's what that's what I like about Ayla. She brings a lot of options. Um, when if you don't necessarily have the mitigation in your hand, you still got that special to do things. So since I know he's going for Kane, and I decided to drop the force illusion instead of the do, doing the beguile. So, um. all right. So he does the lightsaber throw. For two. And then decide, well, if he's going to do that, then I'll blank out his, his base and flip the dagger to something better. I decided to do the two melee instead of the plus three and not get greedy there. Pitching the no mercy. Digging for that base damage. And he does not get it. He gets shield resource and special. Again, not too worried about that Kylo special. All right, so I'm, I'm at this point in the game. I'm uh, I'm doing pretty good. I've got some. Uh, I'm in a good position, and he pitches the failure anger. I think I knew he had the failure anger uh, somehow, <laughs> and then it gets a worse roll. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely fine with that. I think he was waiting for me to roll some blanks to remove some things. But all right, getting Kanan's dice out there. That's real nice. So that's five damage right there. The Ezra Saber special is two damage. He pitches his last card, going for that big uh, roll. And so he hits two specials and a one melee base side, which is a lot of potential damage. But thankfully, I've been holding on to this Beguile, and he's got no cards left. So I can pretty much make sure that he doesn't 
uh, get what he needs. So we have him re-roll the Ancient. And he gets the blank, so I don't have to worry about the melee. And then I can turn the Kylo special to a blank and then remove the other Kylo special. So it went from upwards of 11 damage to 0 damage, basically, if he pulled the Ray Saber with the Kylo special. So he heals with the Ancient. So here I'm doing the cannon ability. Gonna do two more with Ezra Saber. And I think I'm pitching to reroll, trying to get more value again. I, I could play that, but at this point, I don't really need it. I think, again, I'm thinking it's got a lot of damage sides. Why not? Let's go for it. And we get the two. So there we go. It's up to nine damage. So the Jedi are fighting the Sith. Super thematic, right? So there's that Master of the Council. Mind trick, race staff, caution. Uh, mind trick late game is so nice to see. You just love seeing that come out. So at this point, I was thinking about playing with Master of the Council just for, just for fun, but... I don't think I do. Still haven't seen any honed skills. I'm running two honed skills in here, um, but I'm also not real close to dying, so I'm okay. Again, I think <laughs> I think at this point, like I knew I pretty much had him, but at the same time I wanted to play another upgrade, but eh. So rolled out one, one, two. Not really much. Uh, much you can do about that outside of a mind trick or <laughs> and there's the famous cx3 table flip rage quit <laughs> we're just laughing about it anyways thanks for tuning in again built to last uh is a fun card to build around and i haven't seen a lot of canon ala out there but it is a blast to play so give it a try uh, again, this has been the Jedi Trials. Uh, be on the lookout for more YouTube content and appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.